Okay, I have another project. And this project has to do with my driveway as we're heading up to the house. I've got an area over here on this side of the driveway where you can see that I just have very little grass growth and there's some erosion that's taking place right in there. And it continues on right up there to where about the loader is sitting. And so what I've done is I've come into this wood line at this point and I used the brush cutter and I got down a lot of that underbrush that was in there. And so what the idea is, is that I'm gonna get up into that tree line there a little bit, and I am gonna put this rock that I had delivered up in there. And essentially what's happening is that the, uh, I have a flow of water that kind of comes down off of that bank. And that's creating a lot of the erosion that I have in this area. And I haven't been able to to get grass to grow in there. So I need to come in and, and fill in with some topsoil, get that built back up to a nice grade again. I'm gonna do that from about where the bobcat is sitting right now. Probably down, uh, well, obviously where it's continuing to erode. So that would be about in this area right here. So I'm guessing, uh, 30, 40 yards there maybe. So I'm gonna use that rock, I'm gonna lay it up in there to try to control that um, water flow that I have coming down off of this hill. And then I'm gonna come back in and grate it with some topsoil, seed it, and see if I can get it to grow. I'm, I'm trying to get it to where this whole side of the driveway looks like that up there. I'm gonna do some reseeding up there as well. But that's the plan. And so I had some rock delivered. This rock that I had delivered is probably, it's on the small side of a riprap. This stuff is actually in the category of a riprap, but it's on the small side. And so this stone right here is actually called surge. So like I say, it falls into the category of a riprap, but it's smaller. Uh, some of the riprap that you see for erosion control would be oh, about the size of a football to maybe a basketball, somewhere in that range. This is gonna be a little bit smaller than that. So you can see here that that's probably a, a baseball, somewhere around in there. Some of the pieces are a little bit smaller than that. And then some of them would be just slightly larger. But on average, I think you could kind of refer to this as probably being about the size of a baseball. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it up into that wood line there so that that stone will catch some of this erosion that I have taking place along through here. And then I'm just going to fill it in with uh, topsoil, grate it out, plant some grass, and see if I can get this uh, all growing 
again. And then just past that area where the rock is on up the driveway, that's gonna be another scenario. I think that I'm gonna be able to get in there and aerate and probably get some grass to grow in that area. I think if I aerate and uh, put some uh, manure on top of it, which uh, we have plenty of around here, and plant some grass, I think I can get some grass to grow up in that area. I, I really don't have much of an erosion issue up there as much as it is that it's just direct sunlight and it's hard to get grass to grow in that area. But this is an area that I want to address and so that is the chore today. Okay, we got all that rock distributed down through here. So I ended up going a little bit further, um, mainly just the remnants of the uh, pile that was left. I just kind of turned that into uh, kind of an area too that would catch some water, although that wasn't uh, one of the areas that I was concerned about. But you know, you, get, you start to get to the end of that pile and it's either it's either you start to shovel it all up or you just make do with it. So I just kind of continued on the berm there, if you will. But you can see what my idea was with this. Um, just put that surge up on that hill so any water that would tend to come down here and uh, wash this area that I was concerned about, that that rock would catch it. And... Uh, there's a little bit of dirt mixed in there with it, but a couple of rain showers. And, and I'll go through there with a, 
with a rake and kind of level it out and make it look a little more uniform across here. But that's the idea. That's what I was after. I wanted to uh, try to take care of that wash that I have coming down through there. So now what's next is this area in here. I need to start running some dirt up here. And then um, once I get the dirt in there, I'm going to start to bring some manure to top it with. And then I'm going to plant some grass seed on top of it. Put some hay over the top of that to hold it in place until it gets a chance to grow. And I'll see if I can get it, you know, looking like the rest of that up there. That's that's the idea. So, but the big part was was to get in there and get that uh, underbrush out of there, get the rock laid in there, and then uh, now I can start bringing the dirt up. Okay, we got that done. So I got all the rock laid in there. So we can see kind of up on that slope, a little bit deeper into that tree line. Um, I decided to put it up there a little bit further because I wanted to keep the area just on the other side of the grass line clear. And if I had a bunch of rock in there, it was gonna be hard for me to get in there with a brush cutter or a bush hog or, or even a, uh, a weed eater and uh, keep that clear. So I pushed it up in there a little bit further. And basically what it does is it's right there at the base of that slope. So I think that's good. So just as that water starts to catch a little bit of momentum coming off that slope, it's going to hit that surge rock. So I got all that laid in. And then I hauled in um, six full loads of, uh, well, bucket loads, skid steer bucket loads. Six or seven. I can't remember now. Uh, and anyway, I, um, I graded it along in this area here to fill in some of those gaps that was in here. And of course it looks a little rough on the top right now because I spread manure over the top of it. Which, uh, having a horse farm, we get a daily supply of that. And so I spread it over the top to um, act as a nutrient for that dirt that I used that dirt was from a lake that I dug out a number of years ago and um, I'm just not sure you know it's not top quality grade at all it's probably better as a fill dirt but the fact is is the area where I have a lot of that stored there is a lot of grass growing in it so it is nutrient enough to have grass and weeds and things like that grow in it uh, but I wasn't sure uh, if it would be enough uh, to get you know some decent grass to grow so anyway I spread manure over the top of it and I seeded it and then we'll see what happens so this is just an area that I you know I, I, it was just uh, really starting to erode and it didn't it didn't look good and uh, I wanted it to look a little bit better more like the the grass that's up there in that area and just kind of continue it down make this a nicer drive into the house and uh, it just needed to be done. So we'll see if this method that I chose to do here is going to work as far as the rock there to, to stop the erosion. And then, um, you know, as far as the dirt manure combination, uh, you know, we know, we know manure is going to act as a fertilizer. Uh, I'm just not sure if it's going to provide enough nutrient for, for the dirt that I chose to use. So we'll see what happens. Uh, worst case scenario, I have the rock in there now, and I did uh, bring this in, and it filled some of those gaps. So if I have to, um, you know, I can have a load of topsoil brought in. Either way, I'm glad to have all that rock up there, and I'm, had, I'm glad to have it graded out a little bit. Uh, that's that's going to be a big improvement, even if I've got to uh, do another step or two to get the grass to grow. All right, so as far as I'm concerned for right now, job done. <laughs>